Prince Harry's shock revelation that he killed 25 Taliban fighters in Afghanistan should increase security concerns ahead of his trip to Nigeria, a former head of royal security has warned. The Duke of Sussex and his wife Meghan Markle will visit Nigeria in May for talks on the Invictus Games. Harry's expected to make the trip after a service at St. Paul's Cathedral to mark the 10th anniversary of the Games. Nigeria was among the countries which participated in last year's event, while Meghan Markle has recently claimed that tests revealed that she's 43% Nigerian heritage. Di Davies, a former head of royal protection, suggested Harry's claim to have killed 25 in Afghanistan raises alarm bells from a security perspective. He said, Just over half of Nigeria's population are Muslim. That gives me concern because of what Harry said in his book. Harry served in Afghanistan as an Apache helicopter gunner in 2012 to 2013 and was deployed on active duty in Helmand province. 2007 to 2008. The Duke of Sussex writes in his memoir Spare that during his two hours with the British Army, he found himself plunged in the heat and confusion of combat and didn't think of those 25 as people. He goes on to say they were chess pieces removed from the board. Harry's claims sparked criticism from military figures, royal commentators, and veterans' relatives. Former UK Defense Secretary Ben Wallace told LBC's Nick Ferrari, I frankly think boasting about tallies distorts the fact that Army is a team game. It's a team enterprise. It's not about who can shoot the most. 